Well, I'm Paul Tari, Chris Tomlin, so I'm from Central Australia, I'm from the Aranta Trial, and um, I'm here at the convention here now today. Um, I'm here because um, my concern stems back from about just over two weeks ago when North Korea threatened to nuke Pine Gap in Central Australia. So that, that news has all gave me the idea that, not the idea, but I don't have a future anymore in this country. These mob up here are talking about constitution, they're talking about treaty, they're talking about a future. And, you know, to me, you know, they believe in the Easter Bunny because we don't have a future, black and whites, in this country where we've got a USA spy base that's a nuclear target. If we want to talk about a future in this country, black and whites, we have to get rid of this threat to our future, which is the USA spy base. And that's all I want to just elaborate on our future. How do we do that? Well, we're hoping that bring this awareness out that we are a target and while we are a nuclear target we don't have a future. Now this is something that we can come out of this meeting where black and white Australians can get together now and say right, if we're going to talk about a treaty, if we're going to talk about peace, then let's get rid of the threat to our future, which is the USA spy bases. Because we can't go any further while this threat is sitting here in our backyard. We don't have a future. Until we can clear that out the way, then we can sit down and we can talk about a future. But until then, we don't have one while this USA spy base is sitting here in our country. If that was cleared out the way, what, what, what would you want to see happen to go forward? Well, I would like to see the unification of black and white Australians coming together. And during that unification, a pathway will come out of it. With all these heads together, we can plan the most perfect, beautiful future That'll be an example to the rest of the world as well. And that's what we're hoping. At the end of the day, is get this healing in. We're looking at 2020, from today to then, so we can get the word out about healing, about our history, about our country, about the threats, and about unifying black and white just to come together and plan a really good future out. We don't need the USA, we don't need the government, we don't need the Queen, we just need us, all of us coming together and sitting down and talking about a future for it, for our kids and grandchildren. Do you think a treaty or a voice in Parliament is a way to deliver that? Well, you know, it's hard to say because um, in the last 200 years or so, you know, there's, there's never ever been, you know, room for Aboriginal people to have a say. You know? And if we do have a say, it's, it doesn't go anywhere like Ella said in there, the paperwork ends up 